Inca is a software for C13 metabolic flux analysis. Uh, that's an approach for uh, mapping out the flow of carbon through metabolic pathways inside of living cells. Um, you know, a lot of the applications have to do with um, trying to understand the metabolism of industrial uh, host cell lines that are used for production of uh, biochemical products. Um, in particular, you can use uh, this approach, C13 flux analysis, to uh, determine the rates of metabolic uh, pathways inside of cells and to determine where there are bottlenecks in those pathways and where there are also uh, wasteful processes that are occurring inside of those cells in order to um, identify targets for genetic engineering. This is actually a, a cyclic or an iterative approach where uh, you identify genetic targets to manipulate, then you do the molecular biology to um, to alter those those genes inside the organism, and then the third step is then to analyze the effects of those genetic manipulations to see if you have rerouted the carbon flux uh, into the pathways that that you're interested in in uh, in, in becoming more active. And so, um, really, metabolic flux analysis has to do with that third step. Uh, you know, after we've made some uh, genetic manipulations to the host, now we want to be able to uh, sort of see a roadmap of how those uh, genetic manipulations have affected the metabolism of the cell. So it's sort of like overlaying a, a traffic map uh, onto your onto your roadmap when you look at uh, at your Google. Uh, traffic uh, traffic report so it could be either for you know identifying drug targets or for uh, engineering cells to produce those drugs or to produce those biochemicals um, as a manufacturing platform some companies are interested in cell line development so they want to uh, you know identify or engineer cell lines that are more productive some companies may be actually interested in drug discovery uh, because they are wanting to understand the uh, metabolic basis for a disease and they want to use these tools to understand how a disease cell, how the metabolism of disease cells becomes altered and then they can use that as a, as a target to develop a drug to uh, sort of try to force the cell metabolism back to normal. Inca can analyze both steady state isotope labeling experiments as well as non-steady state isotope labeling experiments where the, uh, where the C13 enrichments are changing dynamically over time. So Inca is the first uh, publicly available software to be able to address both of those types of experimental um, uh, data sets. One key benefit is that it has um, a nice graphical user interface. A lot of the other programs that are out there um, you know, require a lot of uh, command line interaction. Uh, they you know, require uh, you know, text files as, as inputs. So uh, Inca has a user interface which kind of guides the user through the setup of the, uh, of the mathematical model. Um, so I think that's one key feature. Um, it also builds in a lot of, uh, I would say, ancillary uh, analysis uh, techniques. Uh, so it not only does C13 metabolic flux analysis, it uh, also allows you to do some other types of metabolic pathway analysis that, uh, you know, using the very same model. You know, getting into more of the technical aspects of the software, you can analyze multiple uh, parallel experiments. So if you do experiments with multiple different uh, isotope tracers, you can combine the data from all of those parallel experiments and analyze them simultaneously using the software. Um, so I think uh, it, it builds on a lot of uh, advanced capabilities that uh, I need for my particular research and I think uh, I you know, other people would also find useful because we haven't found these capabilities in other uh, software tools. The other thing about the software is that, you know, it's really central to uh, everything that we do in my research lab. So all of my students are using it on a, you know, routine basis and we're continually developing and improving the software. 
Uh, that basically means that you know we're looking for feedback from users, and and we are, you know, interested in developing the software further to meet other people's needs as well as our own needs. So, it's not a dead end uh, kind of uh, product. It's it's really a living uh, thing that's that's growing as as the needs of my own lab and of other users uh, change over time. As far as the Inca software itself, um, there are some immediate plans to add new features. Uh, right now, the uh, software only works with um, uh, you know mass spec data or uh, or proton NMR data. Um, it does not uh, it, it does not handle uh, NMR fine spectra. So I think uh, adding those capabilities for uh, analysis of NMR's uh, fine spectra data was one place uh, we want to go. Uh, also uh, including the capabilities for tandem mass spec data. Uh, so, so I think expanding the range of different uh, measurement uh, data types that the software can handle is probably the number one priority right now. Um, as far as uh, other things that we're working on, so we're also working on other tools that n won't necessarily be integrated into Inca, but other tools that will uh, facilitate some of the um, data analysis uh, so that you can pre-process the data before you enter it into Inca. So, you know, steps that kind of come before the Inca analysis, and we plan to release those tools as well. The software is already being widely used by academic uh, colleagues, uh, you know, people that I collaborate with, uh, you know, I, th I think it's already gaining popularity because of its ease, ease of use and because of some of the technical capabilities that it has. Um, so I, I really expect, you know, the more uh, graduate students are working with this program in their academic training and then going out to companies that it's going to become a standard platform for uh, metabolic flux analysis.